सो लेट्स टेक अप द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन द वैल्यू ऑफ समेशन आर इक्वल जीरो टू ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी माइनस आर सी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू लेट्स ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन बायोनोमल कोफिशियंट समेशन आर इक्वल जीरो टू ट्वेंटी माइनस आर सी सिक्स दैट मीन्स वी आर सेइंग वेन यू पुट जीरो इट इज फिफ्टी सी सिक्स प्लस देन नेक्स्ट इज फोर्टी नाइन सी सिक्स फोर्टी एट सी सिक्स एंड सो ऑन When you put 19, you will be getting 31 c6. For last, it is 30 c6. Now here you can see if you add and subtract, say for example 30 c7. Correct, adding and subtracting. What is going to happen? 30 c6 plus 30 c7 is 31 c7. These two. This is thirty-one C seven. It is combined with the previous one, gives you thirty-two C seven, and so on. That means finally you will be getting fifty C six plus fifty C seven, and the last term that is thirty C seven. These two combined further, going to give you fifty-one C seven minus thirty C seven. Time to check from the given options. 51 C7 minus 30 C7. That is correct answer is option number one. So let's mark and mention it as our required result. So I'm sure this question is clear. Time to take up the next question now. Let x not be the point of local maxima for the function involving vector that is scalar triple product A B C involving unknown x, so that we can get the function. Then the value of a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a at x equals x naught. Question is clear. First we will be finding a dot b cross c. That's the function. Then we will find the derivative. We will check the maxima, which is x naught. Then we will find this term a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a at the value x naught. So let's start it. A dot b cross c. Is equal to this is my function actually. This is x minus two three minus two x minus one seven minus two x. This means f x is equal to. Simplifying it, we get x multiplied with x square minus two plus two multiplied with minus two x plus seven. Plus three into four minus seven x. Now we can see that it is changing to x cube. Next, minus two, minus four. That is minus six. Then minus twenty one, giving you minus twenty seven x. And the constant term we can see fourteen plus twelve twenty six. So this is the function f x. Find its derivative. This is three x square minus twenty seven. Saying it to zero, we get x equals plus minus three. This is clear. Next. Now, when you consider it on the number line, points minus three and three, you can see that derivative is changing its sign from positive to negative about point minus three. So this is the point of maxima. And this is the point of minima. Question is saying x naught is the point of maxima, so this is my x naught. Next. So we find a dot b, b dot c, c dot a with the help of these three vectors, and we conclude that a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a is equal to. 3x minus 13. Now the time to put x is equal to x naught, which is minus 3. So this value changes to minus 9 minus 13. That is minus 22. So the correct answer for this question required is minus 22. Time to check from the given options. From the given options, we see option 4 includes this answer. So yes, this is what we were looking for. I'm sure this part is clear. 
time to take up another question now. If 1 plus 1 minus 2 square into 1 and so on, one series is given equals alpha minus 220 beta, then an ordered pair alpha comma beta is equal to. Let's try out. Say this is S equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1. We can clearly see it is 11 times minus. From rest of the series, we can take 2 square common. We are left with 1 square into 1, 2 square into 3, 3 square into 5, till 10 square into 19 or 11 minus 4 multiplied with summation r is equal to 1 to 10 r square into 2r minus 1. Now, we can further rewrite it as 11 minus 4 times 2 into 10 into 11 upon 2 whole square this is for summation r cube minus 10 into 11 into 21 upon 6 this is for summation r square moving forward 11 minus 4 into we can see that we can take 10 into 11 upon 2 common on taking this term common what we are left with 10 into 11 upon 2 into 2 that is 110 here minus 10 11 upon 2 taken common we are left with 7. Some simplification some calculation work is required. So this comes out to be 11 minus 220 into 103. I have tried to convert it into the required form as given so alpha and beta we can say 11 and 103 which is given here as option number 4 so yes we obtained our correct answer as option number 4 so let's write down i'm sure this question is also clear time to take up the next question now